So you're thinking of making a move to test in California. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over the good, the bad, the pros, the cons, the beautiful and the ugly of living, working, playing, owning a home in testing California. And don't forget to check out our other videos. My wife's got me working hard on these. We've got videos on the beautiful golf course community of Shady Canyon. We've got Hidden Canyon. We've got Orchard Hills. We've got Portola Springs. We have Northwood. We have North Park. We have the Great Park. We have Santa Ana, Huntington Beach. We got a lot of videos. Let's get to this. Hi, if this is your first time to channel, welcome. If you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, playing, owning a home in Irvine, California, and surrounding communities, do us a favor. Like our videos. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notification. So you'll be made the first to be made aware of when we upload a new video on Irvine, California and surrounding communities. Hi, my name's Bruce Clark. I've been a real estate agent for more than 17 years. I'm with Coldwell Banker in Newport Beach. And we absolutely love getting calls and emails and text messages every day from people just like you. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next seven days, 70 days, or even further out, do us a favor, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to Irvine, California and surrounding communities. So here we are talking about the pros and cons of testing California. I love testing California. We've lived here for, we lived for almost 10 years and, 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 and we love the city. We love the community feel. And that's very, a very, a very big positive. So testing California, certainly the part as you're, as you're more East is very much a community feel. You have some older communities, you've got Laurelwood, you've got uh, Tustin Meadows, you've got Old Tustin, Old Town Tustin. Wonderful, wonderful. We've got a uh, downtown, but it's a wonderful feel. We have parades, we have veteran recognition ceremonies, we've got uh, Quasi County Fair, which is coming up. So we have Tustin Tiller Days, and we also have the country's largest chili cook off. So it very much lives like a small city. Another pro is there are a bunch of new homes being built. You have Tustin Legacy which is at the 1,600-acre uh, the former Marine Corps Air Station. So there are new homes. There are new homes also being built over, you still have, uh, you have Columbus Park, you've got Tustin Fields. So those are newer, I should say, the new homes, but Tustin Legacy, a lot of new homes. You're gonna have over, probably over 5,000. I think they're seeing 4,000 something, but I, I'm seeing a lot more being built. But the full range of homes. now. The newer homes are not going to have nearly lot size as the older homes are. And we'll go into that in just a moment. So I consider it a positive that we're going to have that we have new homes. The negative is kind of higher HOA and they're going to have mellow roofs. And also because it's on the Marine Corps Air Station, just like a lot of great park, they were super fun sites. I was in the Marine Corps. I know what we dumped in the soil. We couldn't have cared less. You know, a 3 a.m. hop, you know, you're, you're, you're having to move positions. You've got to move two miles and it's... You know, it it's, could be cold in like South Korea, could be hot, you know, in, in the desert. And so you 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 didn't really pay attention to, to what you were doing with all the, the fuel or the gunpowder, you know, all kinds of things. The reason I mention that is is that they have spent a lot of money correcting the, uh, the situation over there as far as the cleanup. But be aware that if you were to buy a home in the Great Park and if you were to buy a home in, in Tustin Legacy, that there are disclosures that it was was a super fun site. For some, you can't grow a fruit tree. You can't you can't plant things. You can't eat the things you plant. Things to be things certainly to be made aware of. But the wonderful homes. But there are some you know there's certainly I mean that's very much a con and, and some people wouldn't buy there. Others just don't care. Let's come back to the pro of custom real estate. We have a full range of homes. We have homes from the uh, the early 70s. So you have condos. You have you have uh, a lot of single level homes, you got Tustin Meadows, and, and we saw some over in uh, some other areas of Tustin. And you go all the way up to Tustin Ranch Estates, and there you have seven, eight, 9,000 square foot homes on, on 20 or 30,000 square foot lots. And the only place out, out, in, out in this area, in North Orange County, we are gonna find homes that large are going to be Shady Canyon. You've got some substantial homes in Orchard Hills, substantial homes, Hidden Canyon by substantial. That's to mean any anyone, it's just it's size. It's just size now. You have a lot of very large homes. And see, it's it's not uncommon to have 4,000 square foot homes. North Park has them, Northwood Point has them. You probably got some additions somewhere in El Camino Real, West Park. 
but homes as they sit without adding additions, there aren't that many 6,500 to 7,000 square foot homes. The lot sizes are, are excellent. You'll find here in Teston, traditionally you're gonna get a little, little, more, little more home, a little more lot than you will certainly in, in Irvine. Uh, there's also Orange, we're gonna be doing a video on Orange and, and you'll get back and you'll get to see some really nice developments there also. We've been to most, most developments here in Orange County. And so whether it's Capa de Oro in Anaheim or whether it's uh, the Hunt Club, you know, whether it's looking Dana Point, you know, there's, there's all kinds of, of reference points. But staying north, again, there's just not that many really large homes available outside of, outside of Shady Canyon, Hidden Canyon, and you've got Alta Vista, Great Park, and you have some, uh, some others. We absolutely love, we, we love the community. The temperature, very much a pro, 300, 300 plus days a year, you have sunshine. It's absolutely fantastic. We love outdoors. As a matter of fact, we're recording at Citrus Park here in Tustin. There's a gentleman running by route right now with his two dogs, but it, it, it's a lot of outdoors. Behind me is the Teston Ranch Golf Club. Absolutely fantastic course. Tom Robinson is the designer of our Ted Robinson designed that course. It's an award-winning golf course. So there's a lot of things that you're close to. You're not far from the district, which is Teston Legacy in that area. Over, over as you're looking more north, you've got the Teston Marketplace, you have the Irvine Marketplace. So you have access to a lot of stores. You've got Costco's, you have Walmart's, you have a lot of chain restaurants in those developments. But once you get outside of the marketplace and once you get outside of the district, now Tustin has a lot of mom and pop restaurants and we love that. If you go, if you go to Old Town Tustin, you've got some smaller restaurants, you've got smaller shops, you've got some old antique shops, you have some secondhand clothing stores. Uh, and, and, and it's really neat. Again, it's, it's a totally different feel than you'll get in some of the other, the other cities here. Again, 300 days a year, sunshine. For, for most, it's a pro. The con is you're not gonna have a change of seasons. This is some average temperature, 75 degrees. Most of the time, it's absolute perfect weather. Great for exercising. Again, getting out, running, playing, uh, hiking, hitting the pool, hitting the links for golf, riding a motorcycle. It's, 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 a, it's a great place. It's, it's tough to leave someplace like this. That's why a lot of people stay. From a tax standpoint, a little bit over 1%. Most of the homes here the older homes don't have mellow roofs, so if you're looking at 35 years and older, no mellow roofs, or if they do, it's probably literally right at the end of the, of the life of the mellow roofs bond. It's an infrastructure bond. Mellow roofs is an infrastructure bond or a district they create when they're adding new, for example, new schools, new roads, uh, fire stations, police stations, those type of things, uh, first responder services. Here in Tustin, there are some developments that don't have HOAs. So no mellow roofs, no HOA. If you're going to a place like the Great Park, you could be at 1.5, 1.8% tax with mellow roofs. So a million dollars, you're next to $1,500 a month, not including, not including, for example, some other assessments you might have. It's a big, big difference, big difference. That can take you out of 2,300 square foot home to a 12, well, probably 1,500 square foot home, whereas in Tustin, that would give you more home that you can buy. You can you know, just get bigger home, bigger lot, things like that. Pros and cons, new homes, older homes. As far as location, it's in the northeast part of, of Orange County. It's, yeah, it's a great location. You are 35 minutes to Huntington Beach, 45 minutes to Laguna Beach. Watch our map video, like show you the exact location and distances uh, from all the, all the other cities. Los Angeles, hour and 15, about two hours to San Diego. So very consistent with Irvine because you're right next, you're bordering Irvine, you're bordering Orange, you're bordering Santa Ana. Schools, fantastic schools. The Tustin Ranch High School, our Tustin High School, check out the great schools link that we have below us. So you can take a look at the test scores and, and the rankings on greatschools.org. Beckman High School is a much, much higher rated school. We know people that go to Tustin High School and they're they're perfectly fine, happy. Tustin High School is certainly it's an older school. Beckman's a newer. Beckman services a lot of Orchard Hills, the the uh, the groves and and uh, the big homes up there, in the gated part, the guard gated part. Beckman High School is is their assigned high school. It's they they pull a lot of students. As you're in Tustin Ranch, those kids will most likely go to go to Beckman High School, whereas in uh, some older parts of Tustin the kids will end up going to Irvine or Tustin High School. So be aware of, of the uh, 
uh, of the boundaries for, for your schools. And if you have any questions, check out greatschools.org. They have a lot of great information on, on the schools. But the schools, by and large, very highly rated school district. Safety, Irvine's rated one of the safest cities in America. Tustin's right next to it. I would say we're right up there. Um, I don't know the exact rankings, to be honest with you. I, you know, you don't always, you can't always pull up every ranking, every, you know, um, but we have fairly low crime. Um, I just, we just don't have a lot of violent crime here. Uh, the maintenance of the area, area we love. The roads are very well maintained. We see a lot of, we see a lot of police presence. We see a lot of people that are out uh, taking care of landscaping, so landscape maintenance. And, and so it all looks beautiful. The common areas look beautiful. Right now we're at Citrus Park. The Citrus Park's very well maintained. The bathrooms, the uh, the park bathrooms and all, they're, they're really well maintained. Um, so very much, very much a positive. As far as, we, we don't have as many big businesses as Irvine does. So Tustin doesn't have, the job creation's not as large. However, there's a lot of jobs available, whether it's, there are, you know, certainly Tustin, but you have Irvine, you have Orange, not that far from LA. I know people that commute to LA. So I wouldn't worry about, about the, the job situation here. It is, uh, it's, again, it is a, uh, it's a community that, that, that's close to a lot of job creation centers. So we appreciate you joining us on this movie. So whether you're looking to make the move for the next five days or 50 days, or even further out, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We'd love to help you make smooth moves to Tustin, California, or Rank, California, and surrounding communities. Mm -hmm.